Disclaimer, we are not professionals. We are not financial advisors. This is not financial advice. Do your own due diligence and enjoy the video. You are unwise to lower your defenses. The Star Wars Dark Side Collection's debut NFT is Sith Lord Darth Vader. Three premium digital collectibles drop Sunday, May 29th at 8 a.m. PT time. Vader dropping on Sunday. Let's go. We've been speculating this for the whole month of May, and we are finally getting the first appearance of Darth Vader on the blockchain and on VV coming here in digital collectible format here on Sunday, May 29th. I'm super excited. If you guys couldn't tell, you guys probably couldn't tell. You guys definitely couldn't tell. But seriously, guys, let's talk about this because we're seeing the first appearance of Darth Vader and he's looking clean. He's not a mighty, he's not a gold moment. He is exactly what we want. I don't even have the article yet. And I know I'm going for this drop because this is going to be one of the, the, the holiest of holy grails on the VV app because Darth Vader is one of the most popular, if not the most popular Star Wars character there is. So this is a huge drop, guys. Definitely stay tuned and stay ready for Sunday because this is going to be absolutely bonkers. So a lot of the OGs know that VV usually releases products with future plans in mind. And for example, we saw the lightsabers come out and I was talking to Ben a little bit about it. He was thinking, what if they, con what if they connected with Beat Saber and you could have your own personal lightsabers that you get on the VV app with Beat Saber? So it's just some speculation like that. But VV almost always has plans for the future for almost all of their drops. So we see right here, three premium digital collectibles drop Sunday. And thinking about this reminded me of the Marvel superheroes, which we see five versions of every single time. We see Spider-Man. We see all five versions, always two animated at the end, the ultra rare and secret rare animated. And then the la last three are static. We see the same thing with Black Panther and almost every other Marvel character we've ever seen on the VV app. So why, why am I thinking there's some sort of game happening with this? So if we go over to the secure card, if you guys haven't seen this before, it's basically a card that holds your collectibles, your VV collectibles, your OMI, your Bitcoin, your Ethereum. One of the safest hardware wallets there are, easy portable, fits in your wallet, rechargeable, waterproof, all of the good stuff. But guess what? It's not out yet. But when it comes out, what's the backside going to be looking like? The backside is going to have this little ring. You guys have probably seen if you're subscribed to the channel, you're going to be able to place this card on the table and pull up your collectibles in AR. So say you pull up your Darth Vader on the card, which is going to be dropping here on Sunday. And it pulls up and then say, my friend Ben has a card. He's going to place his down. Say Anakin pops up on his. What if these cards connect and start battling each other? And whoever wins the battle is going to play your emote. So that would be like the emote would be whatever the pose is. So the ultra air would play the ultra air animated pose. The secret air would play the ultimate animated pose. We can see the statics would end up staying in the air like just like the rare of the Spider-Man. So along with Black Panther and all these other ones. But that's why I'm thinking they're dropping these in multiple forms because obviously it's different price points for different people to get in. But I think there is more to it. There's more utility to it than meets the eye. Those are definitely some opinions and definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But we could also see a game, basically Fortnite dances would be your emotes as well. So they could pose like either the static poses or ultimate animated poses and so on. And then also I was thinking, what if it's like Brawl Stars and after you win a game of Brawl Stars, you see the end screen, which plays another emote. So say you have your little lineup of characters you just played, and it would show all your animated ones or static poses. Maybe even we're going to see the collectibles life-size fighting instead of just on the table on the specific cards. Maybe we're going to see them in the air playing or wherever we actually place them in AR. And then also, I wanted to show you guys the Fableborn little release that they have. So if you guys don't know, Fableborn is probably working with Vivi. The head person of this is on the Vivi board. I was actually listening to the AMA the other day and somebody came up and asked, are you guys working with Vivi or are you going to be incorporating Omi into your game? And the owner ended up responding. And he said, we can't talk about that right now, but he said he's like a big investor in Omi and Vivi. And the fact that he said that they couldn't talk about it right now, the way he was saying it kind of seemed like there was like a non-disclosure agreement and maybe he didn't want to say anything yet, but I'm thinking if he wasn't working with Vivi and Omi, he would have just said it right there instead of saying, oh, well, we're not allowed to talk about that right now. Because I mean, obviously that seems like a non-disclosure agreement right there, but these are some sneak peeks of the game, which are the towers. So if you guys know, it's going to be kind of like a clash of clans type of thing with NFTs and floating islands, all this cool stuff. There's going to be a land sale. There's some other videos on the channel. If you guys want to go check them out, they posted about a week ago, but these are looking sweet. These towers look pretty professionally done like they look actually pretty detailed for little simple towers i'm actually really hyped about this game i think it's gonna be really good in the ama it, they were all talking about it like yes they've scratched like four or five games and this is the one they've actually finally found and like ended up really liking so i'm super hyped about it we also have the poster drop 
coming tomorrow. This is the first time VVs came out and put the rarities not in order. So we see the uncommon first with 7,700 editions, and then we see the common. So it is kind of smart because this is probably the most loved care cover, and they wanted to make it a little bit more rare than this cover right here. This one is so cool too, though. So we see the common with almost 12,000 editions, and the Alterer, which is the rarest of them, has 3,890 editions. So what am I thinking for price predictions? This is very, very, very hard because we see the Darth Vader drop in the day after. So these posters are definitely my favorite in the whole app. Like once these drop, these will be super cool. I love this Uncommon and I love the Common. I'm not a huge fan of the Ultra Rare, but I mean, it is the most rare out of all of them. And if you guys look right here, it is Series 1. All right, maybe you can't look right there. I tricked you. But Alex came out and he said these are Series 1. So, I mean, there's going to be more posters and these are the first ones. So I think there will be value because of that. The thing is, I think a lot of people have PTSD like me, PTSD like me because of the lightsaber drop and ended up taking big L's the other day. So I'm thinking these posters are going to do decent. I'm thinking the uncommon is going to be around 40. I think the common might be around 30 and the ultra rare might be around 70 ish guys. If you guys can't tell, I'm pretty stumped on these price predictions for the poster. I think I might hold off on it just because of Darth Vader coming. And I'm kind of nervous to see what the actual price is because I am going to be wanting that drop for sure. I want to be minting that animated one and I don't want to have to buy it aftermarket. So kind of saving gems right now. I don't know what your guys' plans are. Let me know in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please consider hitting that like button down below. Comment and say what's up. Comment, say, say if you're having a good day. Comment what you've been buying in the market. Comment whatever you guys want to comment. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button if you want to be notified whenever we post. Haven't said that in a while. This is VV Vision, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Let's go, homie homies. Let's go. Let's go, homie homies.